So it looks like Windows 11 24H2 is almost ready for everything. Uh, it's available on ARM devices, uh, you know, the new Copilot Plus PCs. And recently they also released the normal x86 Windows 11 version 24H2 to the release preview channel, which is almost like the finalized version of uh, Windows 11 24H2, anyone can use it. And there is even AI so that you can download. Now you can also download Windows 11 LTSC officially and it is based on Windows 11 24H2. I don't think I need to explain you guys what Windows LTSC version is. To learn more about the LTSC version of Windows, you can always do the Google search and you'll understand what's up with this edition. And compared to other uh, editions of Windows, it is also lightweight and system requirement is also lower than the uh, normal uh, windows okay so you can see the system requirement here for the windows 11 ltsc 24h2 so yeah now we can download this officially so let's download it and test this out actually even the iso file is smaller compared to the normal windows edition you know the normal windows edition is actually more than 6.5 five gigabytes and i think i need to do a comparison video between uh, ltsc and the normal home and pro editions so according to these uh, system requirements tpm and secure boots are optional in minimum system requirements so let's test this out actually so in virtual machine i'm going to select the windows 10 x86 so if i select the windows 11 it's going to have the tpm automatically so i don't want that so to test this, uh, whether it works without the TPM or not, I'm going to select the Windows 10 here and then hit next, even though we are installing Windows 11 here. And it should also work with the BIOS. So for this test, let's just go with the BIOS. Yeah, I'm going to give like two gigabytes of RAM to it just for the testing purpose. And yes, it looks like uh, this Windows 11 LTSC version is actually based on version 24h2 because in version 24h2 you'll get the new setup experience which looks something like this and yes it is confirmed that it even works on older devices with bios no uefi no tpm no secure boot so basically what you need to understand here windows 11 ltsc doesn't have the same system requirements as the windows 11 home and Pro. It can be installed on any PC and you can actually create a local account. You don't necessarily have to sign in with Microsoft account. So that's great. So I'm just gonna create a local account in here. This has no bloat, no Microsoft store, no nothing like that. Even the start menu is clean if you go into the all apps section there are only few system apps this is actually really good and this can be installed on any device you don't need tpm secure boot not even a uefi let's go to the about uh, pc section and here you can see this is the windows 11 version 24H2. Uh, this is actually great for the people who wants to use Windows 11, but their PC isn't compatible with Windows 11. This is the Windows 11 edition you should be using. And also, if you want the cleanest Windows 11 edition, yeah, again, this is the one. And to learn more about it, go to their official website. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and again, as I said, I'll do a couple more videos on this uh, Windows 11 LTSC. I'll do a comparison video between this and the normal one and a uh, few more videos just to spread uh, the news about Windows 11 LTSC and uh, you know this is actually the greatest edition of Windows 11. If you want the cleanest Windows 11 experience plus uh, if you want to install Windows 11 on your system but your system isn't compatible with Windows 11 this is uh, the one that you should be using. Yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.